Hello, everybody. Are you getting excited for Christmas? <sighs> Me too. You know, Christmas is one of the most wonderful seasons of the year. Don't you think? I mean, all the decorations and the lights. Oh, you know, there are many neighborhoods and towns that have lighting contests to see who can decorate their home the best. There's even a TV show called The Great Christmas Light Fight. But fighting isn't what Christmas is all about. It's about Jesus, the light of the world, coming to be with us and show us the way to God. And that's one of the reasons I love to see all the beautifully decorated homes during the holidays. I love to see how creative people are and the feeling I get when I see people going for a walk in our neighborhood or get in their cars and, and drive around to see all the beautiful lighting displays. Have you done that with your family? If not, maybe you could do that later tonight or this week. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in all the beautiful lights that we might think that that's what Christmas is all about. But it isn't. You see, the lights aren't Christmas. The lights are just reminders of the one true light that came to bring light into the dark world. In our gospel good news reading for today, it tells us that there once was a man who was sent from God and his name was John. He came to tell about the light so that everyone would believe. John wasn't the light. He only came to tell others about the light. Now, who do you think was the light that John came to tell people about? That's right. It was Jesus. You know, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This Christmas, as we enjoy all the beautiful Christmas lights, let's remember that while they are beautiful, they're only reminders of the one true beautiful light, Jesus. Let's also remember that we have been called to tell others about Jesus, the light of the world that they might be saved, that they might have life, that they might find their way, even in the darkest night. This is the good news. Let's pray about it. Ready, set, pray. Dear God, thank you so much for being our light. Thank you so much for things like light bulbs and LED lights and uh, night lights, headlights, street lights. Lights on our Christmas trees, lights on our homes. Thank you so much for being the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness will never win. Thank you for being our light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.